In this Sailing Doodles, we explore a funky little beach bar and resort. And then we sail along the south coast of Puerto Rico, where we meet up with some friends. This season of Sailing Doodles features Bobby, Taylor, and our special guest for the next few weeks, fellow YouTubers, Babe, Where's My Passport? So follow along on our journey as we set sail for the Caribbean in our 1989 CT56. This channel is made possible by our patrons. Thank you so much. In the previous video, our windlass failed, so we had to pull up the anchor by hand. And then we actually lodged the anchor in some rocks and had to go save it. Good job, man. Hey, yeah. We start this video arriving in an area called Gilligan's Island. All right. We are headed to shore. Gonna find there's a little resort right there. Apparently the reviews uh, say you can take your dinghy ashore and use the restaurant and all that. So we're gonna eat there and grab a drink. Our first stop was a restaurant and bar called San Jacinto. Okay, this looks really cool. I love it. It's so like a whole like little Garden, garden patio. Oh yeah, we can hang out here. No problem. This is a cool spot. Yeah. I like it. We were gonna go over to that resort over there, but like, yeah, let's give this place a try. This place is pretty cool. They had a restaurant and bar and some really funky decorations. This place is awesome. This is one of those places that you would never... It's such a treasure. Like, there's so many little things around. Like, it's like a little garden paradise. Where would you ever, I mean, like, you come and stay in a resort, you're not gonna find this. That's why sailing on a boat, you get a nice, you hang out on the beach right here, man, in the shade. Look at that down there, that is gorgeous. Finding spots like this is what cruising's all about. Fabulous time here. Now let's go to the resort and go to the pool. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> Just on the other side of the bay was a resort called Copa Marina. I'm glad we went there because I think the place is only open for like till 6.30 till sunset, so. How cool. What is that? Manatee's Manatee is like a... It's like a whale... Uh, it's like a cross between a whale and a hippo. Really? But they're really gentle. Oh, wow. What? Manatee? Manatee. 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 Cross between a whale and a hippo. Oh my god. Not actually. Sounds like eBay. It's more of like a Aww. medical. Aww. I think in Asia they call them duodongs. Duodongs? Duodongs. I mean, they're slightly different. But... Oh. Taylor's got her uh, Puerto Rican Paradise. What's the name of the drink? How is it? It's actually really good. I have no idea. It's rum and something. Rum and yum. <laughs> there you go. So a nice little beach here. We're gonna hang out. There's a hot tub right there. I might need to do the cool to cool off and then the hot tub. Let's do it. Well, Graham has run off somewhere, so I guess I'll have to entertain the two ladies in the pool. Oh yeah. Too bad, too I bad. I know, right? I know, his, his loss. But it's, what do you think, guys? Pretty nice here. Oh yeah, my gosh. So we got like a perfect view of the boat. Yeah, the boat right there looks pretty awesome. This is living. This is sailing life. Yeah. There you go. Guys. It is. Get out there and do it, guys. Yeah. Go.
not always fun and game, guys. Bobby is busy. What's happening? I'm just changing the fuel priming pump. Uh, so this right here is a fuel priming pump, basically. Uh, and the other one, it's just very slow. And the other day when we were changing the fuel filter, changing out, uh, you know, because you have to reprime the fuel system, it took a very long time for that priming pump to prime the whole system. So the pump's gone bad, so I'm just gonna put a new pump in there. So that way, if we do have a fuel issue, this thing will prime it real quickly and we're good to go. Yeah, perfect. Right, there is wind and the head cell's going up. First, we gotta make sure all the lines are clear. Oh, babe. Yeah. Right there. So they can move. So the line that she's pulling on is uh, the Genoa sheet. Sheet is basically what sailors call a rope. Uh, this one is the furling line. So basically, all I'm gonna do with this is keep the sail from going out too fast. We're going downwind right now, so we have the sail open it's like a balloon to catch more wind. When we turn that way, we'll sheet it in and it'll be more like a wing because we're going more perpendicular to the wind. We left Gilligan's Island behind and sailed to the biggest city on the south coast, Ponce. After a few short hours of sailing, it was time to pull in the sails. Some of you might recognize that catamaran. Leave us a comment down below if you know who it is. We pulled up to the fuel dock to get some diesel. Yeah, that was easy enough. Bobby did a great job. Taylor also. Thank you. After fueling up, it was time to leave the dock. Port, slow down. Alright, stop. We attached one line to the starboard side bow and then used the dinghy to attach one to the port side. Alright, we are anchored in. Well, actually, we picked up a mooring in Ponce. We'd like to thank Jose at uh, Marina Pescaderia. He hooked us up with the mooring here. Uh, we would have tried to stay in the marina, but they didn't have a slip big enough for us uh, because uh, man, it just it, the pilings weren't out far enough to tie the bow on, and we would have been it just wasn't worth it. So we're out here in the mooring field. Um, we wouldn't mind actually anchoring, but the problem is, is that we're in 30 feet of water, and which would not normally be a problem, but our windlass is not working. So yeah, you don't want to have to pull up that much chain. So you have a 75 pound anchor, and then we have thick chain, like and then three eighths chain that's 30 feet long which is what i don't know like five pounds or foot or more it's a lot it yeah. would be a workout and a half yeah. more than so, it already is so we are but we are going to use the dinghy dock at the marina and we're going to go grocery shopping and then jose again is going to pick us up the garbage run, we yeah have loads of trash here. We loaded up in an Uber and headed to a shopping mall. We hadn't seen one of those in months. One really great thing about cruising in Puerto Rico is the convenience of grocery stores. I mean, it's America, but it's in the Caribbean, right? And so well, you not can... only grocery stores, just stores in general. But yeah. it's like, say we need to go get a few boat things, get a few groceries. You can it's still not, get in it. In Bahamas, here. we would have had to stop at like six different shops and yeah. we still might not have what we need. Yeah, but here, I mean, you get any kind of meat, cheese you want, any kind of dairy, anything you want, they're gonna have it. And so it's really nice. With the provisioning complete, it was back to the boat. Always a good idea to lock up or uh, close down the hatches and everything in case uh, it rains when you leave. But we are headed to go see Jose. He owns uh, Marina Pescaderia. You met him in an earlier video. He's picking us up, taking us to dinner. He's a really nice guy. So, yeah. Uh, 
Well, it's made his family. Yeah, yeah, it, it, uh, Puerto Rican hospitality is quite nice. They're very nice people here. But it's, man, look at the sunset. It's amazing. Wow. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. We headed to the dinghy dock where Jose was already waiting for us. Remember what it was like to actually hug friends and go out to dinner? We were excited for a real Puerto Rican meal. And of course there might have been some adult beverages too. Before we give you the bonus footage, please click that subscribe button. And it's our patrons that make this channel possible. They get lots of perks like real-time tracking on the boat and Zoom chats. So, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Diaz, we called you in because we're concerned about Cynthia. Are you aware that your daughter is blank? Ooh. We're playing cards against humanity. So, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Diaz, we called you in because we're concerned about Cynthia. Are you aware that your daughter is doing crimes? Okay, it's pretty broad. That's pretty broad. Are you aware that your daughter is a homoerotic volleyball montage? Huh. Mm. <laughs> Strange. Uh, Interesting. <laughs> are you aware that your daughter is touching a pug right on his penis? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Fire. And finally, are you aware that your daughter is tearing that ass up like wrapping paper on Christmas morning? <laughs> oh my god! I, I, I gotta so say, the best one is tearing that ass up like Christmas paper on. on... Yes, yes no. that's mine. The cameraman has won. <laughs> Woo. All right, there you go. Thank you. you have, <laughs> I've now got. First one to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jeez. What? Yeah, but we have Rando who doesn't even like. He has six. Rando is in second place with six. Rando is like, uh, we just draw a random card from the pile, and he's won six times already. Man, he's, he's really good. This is not fair. <laughs> I'm being beat by Rando and Graham. Life couldn't get worse. <laughs> 